Here's an email from Mark in Fort Worth, Texas. What kind of maintenance do I need to do on our water heater? Do you just drain all the water out of it? Well, Mark, you know, draining your water heater is actually a maintenance task. Anybody watching, you should actually be draining your tanked water heater twice a year. Did you know that the life expectancy of a tanked water heater is seven years? And so if you're draining it and getting rid of any of that sediment at the bottom of the tank, you can prolong its life. But for you, Mark, if you're working on the gas valve or cleaning out the burner plate or changing a thermal coupler, there's really no reason that you need to drain the tank. Just be careful and pay attention to what you take apart so you know how to put it all back. We have a condominium with a leaky bathroom. We've got water running down to the condominium below us, and we're not sure if it's a bad seal or if it's a pipe, but we've got two rooms ripped up right now, and we need to stop this water. Can you please send some help? Ooh, Tanya, too bad that this show is called House Smarts and not House Calls, because then I could actually come out and help you out. But you're probably going to have to open things up a little bit more to actually discover what the problem is. Now, if everything's off, and water's not leaking, then you can pretty much deduce that it's not coming from the water feed, you know, the water lines themselves. It's gotta be coming from some type of drain pipe, either the toilet or the drain that's underneath the tub or shower base. Now you can fill up that tub or shower base a little bit by plugging the drain itself to hold some water and see if it leaks. If it leaks then, well, there could be a problem of the shoe, the drain of the shoe where it meets the base of the tub or shower base, and then you'll need a plumber to fix that or it could be leaking through the tile where the tile meets the tub when you're in there actually showering. Now for the toilet to find out if it's leaking there, you're gonna actually have to pull that toilet and take a look at that flange that's on the floor. If you see evidence of water there, in particular if you have tile around there, you see it's all wet, that could be the root of your problem. But as I mentioned, you're gonna need to open things up to finally fix this leak once and for all.